So one of the best ways to level up your stream is by adding in a countdown timer. And so in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can create this directly inside of OBS Studios without you having to download any third party applications. Okay, so to set this up, what you're going to want to do first is head on over to your sources. You want to click on the plus icon and then you want to select text GDI plus. Now from here, you're going to rename this. I'm going to do countdown. Click on OK. And this is where you're able to customize on how you want your countdown to look. So you can select your fonts. You can do a gradient as well as an outline or any customizations that you choose. So from here, you're going to click OK. Once you're done with your customizations, you are then going to come up to tools. You're going to come down to scripts. And from here, you're going to select the plus icon and you're going to see that OBS already has some pre-installed plugins for us to use. So we're going to utilize the countdown one, click on open. And then you're going to see now that we have some options on the right hand side. So you can select the total duration of your timer. And then once you're done with that, select your text source, which is going to be the countdown. And then you will be able to now go ahead and click on close. And so here is your timer. Now, if you don't want the extra zeros that represents the hours, you're able to come back up into tools, go back into your scripts, click on edit script, and you are able to update this. Now, if it doesn't automatically pop up for you like this, what you can do is always open this up in a notepad and you should be able to look at the same exact thing. And so you're just going to take away the first portion right here where it says local text. You're going to take this away. And then where it says hours, you're going to also take this away as well. You're going to click save and then what you're going to do here is you are going to refresh and it automatically updates now another method on how to get rid of those extra zeros is by clicking on your timer you will then see that there are some red dots that is appearing around as a border you are going to hold the alt tab on your keyboard for windows or you're going to hold the option key for the mac keyboards and then you're just going to drag this to make it go away so you have full control over this and you can just leave it like that and there you go and if you want to come back later and you want to uh bring it back you can do that you can update the timer back inside of your scripts by just adjusting the duration and you have officially set up your timer now with that said that's going to be all for today's video and so if you want to learn more about obs and you want to know the best settings for streaming inside of obs make sure you click on this video right here and i'll walk you through step by step on the best settings for streaming in 2025